Hi, and a hearty congratulations to NASA on their 45th anniversary of the Apollo moon landing. Uh, to Buzz, uh, Mike Collins, and the memory of uh, Neil Armstrong, uh, what a pivotal moment that was in history and what it means to me now and what it meant to me as a youngster, as an eight-year-old, sitting in front of a black and white television in my living room, listening to my dad narrate, trying to explain to me what the grainy image was, and I had no idea of what a profound impact that would have. Uh, I found uh, several drawings that I had made when I was a kid. Uh, Saturn V rockets, the Apollo lunar module, landing in Hadley Rill, the lunar rovers, uh, and my mother handed me these drawings two decades later and she said, this was your artwork. Uh, and what, uh, what an interesting impact you think about what that had on me. Fast forward 40 years and just through my interests and, uh, and the inspiration that NASA provided to us all, I had the opportunity to launch off the very same launch pad that uh, Buzz, Michael, and Neil did back in 1969. So again, uh, a hearty congratulations to NASA, uh, to the crew of, uh, of Apollo 11, and especially the memory of Neil. Uh, thank you so much for what you've given to us. Uh, we have a bright future ahead that perhaps will consist of commercial astronauts. And the ability for men and women who don't have military test pilot backgrounds to go into space. But the ultimate goal, of course, is Mars. And, uh, you know, take another 45 years in the future and you know, we might even be there. And I'm looking forward to that. I think it'll be great. Congratulations, NASA.